A really interesting thing about painting in After Effects is that it looks like you're painting with pixels. You know, like you would paint in Photoshop. I'm going to, once again, double click on the Everest layer here, just so we can see it in its own layer. And I'm going to go back to my painting tools. I'll grab my paintbrush. And when I paint, and if you really pay attention to it, it looks like we have a whole bunch of pixels that are painted with this color that we have selected. And don't forget, you can always click on this little arrow here to switch to the background color very easily. And click on that swatch to change it. So you have two colors readily available to you. But the real secret to this is, every time I add a new stroke, I'm actually creating a stroke, as in a vector stroke. Now to prove this to you, I'm going to grab my arrow tool over here, my selection tool, and watch what happens when I click on one of these. We have a stroke, like a pen tool stroke. And this is an appearance that's placed on it. And I can actually move that entire stroke and place it wherever I like inside the footage, which is really interesting. So I can grab all these guys and completely rearrange them. I can all, always select like this as well and move all of them. Now, if you're having a difficult time grabbing a stroke, make sure that your cursor changes to reflect that. You see this cursor changing? When you get the little cross on the bottom and you click, you've got the stroke. And if you miss, just click really close and you can get it like, like so. So you can do all kinds of really cool things with this. For example, you could paint things pretty much wildly and then move it over. So let's say I wanted to cover this vase here. I can just grab my brush tool and I can do something like this and be sloppy about it. I can grab my selection tool and click on that stroke and just kind of move it over. I can do things like fog. I can do all kinds of mist or anything that needs a very soft effect. Of course, I can use a hard brush as well. Grab this guy here and move it over. So as you can see, there's a whole new way to paint inside of After Effects. It looks like pixels, but it really isn't. So feel free to experiment with that and move these guys around and see what you can come up with.